Hello YouTube, I'm back again with another video. Today I'm out in the workshop and I started putting the bandsaw back together. And it was going good, very, I mean it was going well. You can see I got everything mounted. And I did clean up these bolts somewhat on there. Yeah, I got everything mounted and it's pretty sturdy and whatnot. And and I started to put the lower shaft in, you know, with the pulley here, you know, for the belt. That's why the belt is hanging around. So I was going to do that. I had everything installed and I spun the wheel. Well, when I spun the wheel, I noticed that over here, that this right here was going like this. It wasn't going perfectly, you know, smooth. I'm thinking, oh, no. <laughs> now what? Because getting parts for this bandsaw has been a chore for me. And because it's so old is what it is the reason. I mean, people still say this is a really good bandsaw. If you can grab one, grab it, you know. I mean, for the price, 45 bucks, and it was working. But I'm just getting a little bit picky about things. And uh, so I've been ordering other parts for it to make it look nicer. As you can tell, I put the urethane belt on the wheels like I... I think I told you that in the last video. But now, the shaft is my problem now. Okay, so, if when this goes in, it goes in like this. It goes in like so. You know, plus there's going to be more bearings and whatnot to go in there. Okay, it goes in like so, and it comes out the other side. Well, I notice when I turn this, there's this amount of play going on. I thought it was the bearing. Now, if I can get it out. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Come on, get out of there. There we go. I thought it was the bearing. But come to find out, it's a combination of the two. Let me go out in the sun here. It's a combination of the bearing and the shaft. If you can see it right there with my fingers moving, there's a little bit of a space, like a wore out space. It's tampered, or it's tapered downwards. You can see that in the chuck key slot sliding down towards my fingers. So when I get the bearing over there, it's tough to get that bearing over there. There's a lot of slop. The shaft is wore out really bad right there at that bearing, which is the bearing towards the end by the pulley for the belt. So I looked on Sears Direct, and this part is no longer available. I was pretty upset about that. A lot of the parts are not available. So I really need this. And I'm thinking, well, maybe some local CNC shop would make this. That's what I'm hoping. Well, I'm going to find out tomorrow, which is Monday when I'm at work, to see if anybody knows of anybody that can make this shaft. I mean, it looks fairly straightforward shaft to build you know it's only so long and it has to fit this bearing nice you know because i was going to give them the bearing to make sure that everything they know what it needs and that key slot doesn't have to go all the way through i don't believe you know maybe just you know like an inch or two on each end and keep it solid in the middle but I don't know. I had it, like I said, I was starting to put it all back together using emery cloth to clean 
the shafts right here somewhat. And I was going to put it all together. <laughs> I was looking at all my pictures and and uh, darn, man, I thought thought for sure I was going to have a running video here today. But nope. And I looked on YouTube and there's a couple people that have bought in that shaft. And uh, and I hope they see this video. I subscribed to them. Told them I'm doing the same exact thing. And if they wanted to... Because this one guy has a spare. And I'm just wondering if he would sell that to me. You know... But yeah, this is, I'm stuck now. I can't put this back together. I mean, yes, I can get it back to running. But there is so much play in that shaft for that bearing right there. And I just, I can't have that. Not when I went, I come this far, you know what I mean? I mean, I even got new clips, as you can see. I had it all together. The bottom half. And I somewhat cleaned this this table up on the sides the sides are all clean not the top i haven't done anything with the top on the tops of these yet but I, I got the bolts somewhat cleaned up i got that all cleaned up this is all cleaned up looking pretty decent for what it is but i'm set i was I was hoping to have this together and cutting some stuff, man. I had a lot of stuff to do. And uh, I could sure use that uh, bandsaw right there. I mean, look at the problems. I mean, that's what you get when you buy used. I mean, that's fine. And, I, and the money I've soaked in so far still is not even a... I think it's one-fifth of the price of this saw... When it was first brand new so i got a little over a hundred dollars invested into this project which is really good i mean i have a lot of brand new parts that it needed you know and i'm i'm buying i ordered and i found uh this on ebay hopefully it's the right thing <laughs> i'm hoping because when I took this bolt out right here, you could tell you could tell that uh, it was difficult to get out. I marked it up a little bit, and when I put this in the vise, you know, I kind of clamped it down too hard <laughs> right there, and it kind of pushed the ears together. And it kind of split this little bit, just a little bit right there. So I put JB Weld on it. And I'm not liking it. So I was lucky enough to find... It's also coming with the wheel installed on it, which I don't need the wheel, I told the guy, but everything goes. Yeah, we'll see what happens. And I'm making another video... A, a better video about how my how am I putting this back together and stuff. Hopefully, I don't repeat some stuff <laughs> that I'm showing you now, because it's going to be a couple parts. I'm doing stuff here and there, and but like I said, I was I was going for it until this shaft. I didn't even notice that shaft being that bad. You know, when I was cleaning it up. You know, I noticed right there is kind of banged up. You know, over here where that threaded screw, this screw right here, was laying for a chuck key right there. You know, and that was wrong. But everything I put into this saw, I shouldn't have to do it again for my lifetime, so. And this saw, I think, was built back in 1987. So that's 30, 31 years ago, and it's lasted this long, that shaft. So that's pretty darn good. 
Alrighty, guys. I just hope that I can get another one of these shafts made. I'll keep you posted. And if you know of anywhere else that I can order that from, I tried Amazon. They were out of stock or no longer available. I've tried eBay, of course, and none available. I tried the Sears website. It's unavailable. I tried at Sears Direct or whatever parts and it's unavailable. If you know of how or where I can get this, I mean, if it comes with bearings, I'll take the bearings too. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I just like to put this saw back together and start using it. That's what my goal is. But there's what she looks like so far. You know, it just, it's work in progress, you know. Alrighty, guys. Well, thanks for watching. And I'll be talking to you.